hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to do multi authentication multi authentication i mean to say about multi login system okay so like there is till now we have completed with um admin and user login but i want multiple logins now okay for example admin vendor and if you want another manager and normal user so there are three to four routes for logging right so for that we are going to solve now with multi routing things how to use that i'll just tell you about it so guys till now we have completed as you can check we will just show you a demo i'll just show you demo okay so in previous part part 6 we have learned admin login where role we have created as admin so if you are new to this please watch out the past part 6 and then come here to watch out this part 7 as a multi authentication login okay in laravel so guys admin and he is a ved prakash over here okay so let me copy this so he will dashboard he will log into the dashboard right so once i click he can log in into dashboard so i have clicked on login so let's see so see you guys so he can log in into the dashboard now okay and here it is just log out and let's log in as a normal user so he won't log in into the dashboard he will redirect back to the home page okay so normal user he is om prakash and the role is null so null means he should not he is not authorized to anything so we just ignore that N copy this and paste om at gmail dot com and password login once you log in you will be authorized to home okay so if you try to access the dashboard of the admin click on dashboard you are not allowed to access the dashboard because in previous video we have set this so now guys i want to register as a vendor so and he should be not authorized to the user or the dashboard so both of them should be in that format so guys we will just learn about it so let's click on register first and register a vendor so we'll type what happened okay this type of vendor v e n d o r v e n d o r at gmail dot com one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay so let's click on register once it's registered successfully you will be logged in right you are into the dashboard but he have to redirect to his vendor dashboard okay so we can tell like vendor hyphen dashboard you have to redirect to his vendor part so for that we will start coding and make a middleware and authenticate with it right he should not should be able to access this home page because he is a vendor okay so let's get started guys so this is a fresh application till now we have completed um this admin authentication and now we are going to create for vendors so let's create a first step we will create a middleware so press control tilde option so that terminals gets open over here and now we have to create a middleware called php artisan make colon middleware where i'm going to create a vendor m i d d l e w a r e middleware hit enter a vendor middleware will be created successfully done so after this now let me close this and let's go to our app http controller not controller inside http middleware so over there you can see the vendor middleware just now created right 
so the same thing what we have done in admin middleware we will copy and paste okay so you can just copy the same thing and paste over here that's it and let's import the class of it at the top so right click and import if you want to install this extension please go to laravel extension package over here search laravel extension package and install it that's it so guys now role user over here in vendor middle will keep vendor that's it simple and clear so you are not allowed to access the vendor dashboard right and you can redirect to home page or 401 error okay 401 page any place you can access it right so you have to create a route for this so we will just redirect now to the home page or else you can create a page called 401 so inside resource views you are going to create a new folder called errors e r r r r o r s errors over here inside this i'm going to create a file called 401.blade.php over this now you can redirect set a route and redirect over there so guys um let me try with the one about function we have we can use that okay so we will learn about that how to set everything error page and all in next further videos we will be learning about so right now we will ignore this and we will continue with this message only because we don't want to extend the time of the video okay so guys let's continue with this only and let's go to after this so step two is go to our login thing right so let's go to our controller auth login controller so if you click over here you can uh, see like you will be having a default this thing but please comment that and you can follow with this my tutorial where we have given a redirect to function inside that i have created if the role as admin then you have to log into dashboard else if any of the user is so return to home url okay so right now we will remove this option okay and we will make a vendor one so we'll give one comment called this is admin admin login one and then same thing will copy replace and tell this as vendor login okay and you have to type here vendor okay done so now vendor is set so guys now when you have registered when you're setting this make sure you're giving this option into your database when you have registered with the vendor right now we have registered with this so guys let me browse it once again refresh the page and you can see the third person registered as vendor okay it's still loading yeah it's loaded so guys vendor at gmail.com it's over here and role as it is null so i'm directly going to paste here now vendor later in further videos we will be doing roles and permission things about how to make that crud application for assigning role for this you can just continue in this next videos so guys now i have set this as vendor and once it's if it is a vendor you can log in okay so now let's go back to a coding part and if he's a normal user what he will do he should be logging it directly right so guys we can set that also like a normal just copy and paste tell user or normal user that's it you can just set it to n u l l null equals okay and instead of home dashboard we have to give home so he can go to home page not to dashboard okay so guys now uh, what we have to do is that uh, this vendor login we have to say a vendor 
right so let's tell vendor dashboard that's it save after saving let's execute and check whether it's working fine or not okay so our vendor middleware is created and we have to check with this before that mm, okay so once we have to check with this routes the fourth part let me go to routes web.php over here so before that i will tell you why we are using this things middleware over here so guys we have missed one thing once you register uh, once you create a middleware you have to assign a middleware where in your app folder app http kernel.php okay so over here you have to assign that middleware so i just forgot about that i'll just include it now okay so let's copy and tell this is is vendor go save this name and go back to your middleware you can call the path of it like copy this middleware name and we are going to paste it over here oops okay so as example inside app http middleware app http middleware inside that middleware you are going to call the vendor middleware class i mean yeah middleware file and uh, store this as name and save it and let's close this so there were two step about that so registering and everything is done and now let us just check with the login thing whether it's working fine with these things right so guys for this we have to check with the routes also so i want to redirect that to this function okay so i'll just tell you how to utilize this route thing okay let's get back and let me log out so once you're logged out let's log in again and tell vendor at gmail.com so for that one two three four five six seven eight password let's log in he should log into vendor dashboard he should be redirected good so it's redirected okay so if we log in as a normal user and let's access the vendor he should be able to get that url because we have not assigned anything let's log in as a normal user om at gmail.com 1234567 login okay and let's call this page called vendor hyphen dashboard see ya guys you can visit this url so we don't want to visit this url for the normal user so for that we have to set the route with the middleware okay so guys let's go back to the middleware i mean routes web.php so let us copy the same thing for which we have given for the admin and let's paste over here we will change the names okay so in your kernel.php we have registered that middleware as i'll show you inside kernel.php is vendor so copy this and go to your web route and paste over here and this is the dashboard which we wanted to access for vendor is vendor hyphen dashboard and let's view the page called inside vendor i am going to view the dashboard so let's copy this and we'll create a page so inside resource views there is no vendor file so let me create a folder first vendor inside that vendor i am going to create a new file called dashboard.blade.php done so in this i'll just give a h2 tag h2 where i'll tell welcome vendor that's it let us for testing purpose we will set now and later on we will learn how to view these things okay 
so it's uh, done now now guys we will check and see he is a om prakash he is a normal user okay so let us give slash vendor hyphen dash board okay hit enter let us see coming back you are not allowed to access vendor dashboard cool so we got the output so normal user cannot access the vendor dashboard let's log out and let's log in as a admin with at gmail.com 1234567 let's log in so he have logged in as a admin let me access the vendor dashboard he is also telling you are not allowed to access the vendor dashboard right so normal admin also cannot access let's log out and let's lo log in as a vendor now so let me click on login vendor at gmail.com 1234567 click on login once you log in you will go to vendor dashboard so you can see here welcome vendor so guys uh, we have completed that how to create multiple authentication login system in laravel right so we have covered up this topic and creating multiple user like vendors admin and normal user so yeah guys so let's continue in the next video about the roles and permissions of how to set this roles and permission as a normal admin if i am a admin he is logging in so he should be able to set those roles and permission for example this data should be fetched in a table and give the roles and permission from his dashboard so from his dashboard means from here 678 let me log in so after logging so i will give a profile called roles or permission roles and permission so if you click on roles and permission a table will open and you can update the role for the particular user yeah guys so guys uh, in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share